Hello, friends. Can you believe it? We are finished with this six-week Bible study from the trash pile to the treasure chest, creating a godly legacy. It is so hard for me to believe it's already been six weeks and we're finished. And it has been such an honor for me to be able to walk through the Word of God with you and learn right along with you about leaving a godly legacy. Even though I wrote the study every time I go through it, God teaches me something new and precious and fresh and wonderful. In fact, this past weekend, I had the opportunity to share this legacy message with a group of high school girls in my area here where I live. I did a purity retreat for these girls, and we talked about anything you could imagine with regard to purity. It was a no-holds-barred time where they had permission to ask any question they wanted to ask, and ask they did. And we talked about legacy, um, and, and I, I believe that they saw, they really got this topic of legacy, and they really understood it. And so I hope, now that you have finished the Bible study, that you get it too. And I hope the Lord will work this, this topic of legacy legacy into your life and into your heart in new and fresh ways every single day. I want to remind you of one of our key scriptures from this Bible study, and that was Romans 12, 1 and 2. And this is Leah's translation of it. It says, I urge you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to him, because that's your reasonable service. And do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can test and approve what is that good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. That's what we want to do, ladies, is we want to offer our bodies as living sacrifices to the Lord so that we can present a godly legacy to the generations that come behind us. Now, I want to close today. I promised you something very special. And I want to close today by reading something to you that was given to me when I led this study at my church locally. It was given to me by a, a lady whose father had passed away recently. And this lady had has a niece who has not always walked really closely with the Lord. But this niece was asked to say a few words or, or give the eulogy at her, um, her grandfather's funeral, at my friend's funeral. And so this is the, the, the poem or the, the piece that this niece read at the funeral. And when, when Tracy read it to me, um, what her niece had written, I knew that it fits so perfectly with this legacy study that I use it now quite frequently when I speak. And so I want us to end today by listening to what this precious young woman had to say about the legacy that her grandfather had left her. So here it is. It's called Knowing Jesus. A simple question you ask again and again repeats now as the voice in my head. Do you know Jesus? You ask the grocer, the mailman, the convict, the homeless. You ask new friends, relative strangers, and even me. Did I ever answer sincerely? Not really, but today I will. Do I know Jesus? Yes, Pop Pop, I do. I know Jesus because of you. I know Jesus' love because of your overwhelming, unconditional love for me. I know Jesus' forgiveness because you forgave me for countless childhood sins and adolescent neglect. I know Jesus' compassion because of the deep concern you always had for my happiness, my well-being. I know Jesus' charity because of your grandfatherly generosity and decades of service helping others. I know Jesus' kindness because he was kind enough to let me know you for nearly 26 years. And I know Jesus' salvation because you reminded me of his precious gift every chance you got. Your Christian example to our family, your immeasurable love for Grammy, your humor, your ability to make my life better, all of our lives better, just because we were blessed to be born into your family, it all points back to Jesus. So yes, Pop Pop, I know Jesus. That you can be sure. And another thing, I know you are happiest now because you're finally with that good old friend of yours, 
the one you've been introducing people to for years, Jesus. Ladies, I don't know about you, but that's what I want people to remember about me. That's what I want my legacy to be, is that I love Jesus with all my heart, and I showed Jesus to those who circle around my life. God bless you for taking this journey with me. I hope you'll keep up with me. I hope you'll visit me on my website, www.leahadams.org. Come over, visit me, read the things the Lord gives me to write. And I'll just let you know right now, I'm working on another Bible study. So I hope you'll be looking out for that. But it's been a pleasure to get to know you. And I'm so excited that we have taken this journey of building a godly legacy together. Have a blessed rest of the year. Bye-bye.